Nilu, are you sure about this? You're taking such a great risk for them. I'm sure, and I'm going. You know that I don't like to pass up any opportunity to dance, and this one is especially important. <sighs> Alright. You seem to have a lot of trust in them, so I won't say more on the subject. But if anything happens, the few of us here may not be able to help you. Don't worry. They've been through worse. Everything's going to be fine. All right. You know, if you really do get arrested, we'll do everything we can to get you back. Be careful, even if it's only for our sakes. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Zubair. You're so very kind. How's it going? Nervous? Definitely more than usual. But it's because I'm worried I won't dance well enough. It's okay. Just focus on your performance. We'll take care of everything else. <laughs> you sure know how to talk. Taking all the credit, even though we came here together to help out. Well, thank you both. I'll have to treat you to a meal after all this ends. I really, really appreciate all of your help. Ooh, that sounds great! Huh. How can we say no to that? All right, let's get back to business. Nilu, we'll be here to keep people from going to the Academia so they don't interrupt your performance. I was planning on telling them something like, The Academia's been conducting a weird experiment, and some of their test subjects escaped. It's really dangerous there, so stay away. Oh, you couldn't think of anything better? Oh, oh, well, I guess it does sound like something the Academia would do. <laughs> I think it sounds great. I'm counting on you guys. Don't worry. It'll be a piece of cake. Hey, Nilu! Sorry, it's great to see you, but I'm really busy right now. Our bait people away with Yalda Candy's plan is working beautifully. Do you want some candy? We have more than we can give out. Vihar, thank you so much for doing all of this. And even dressed up as the Knight of Flowers, no less. I'll pass on the candy, though. I cut back on sweets in the period leading up to a performance, and I'm about to start one. <laughs> you have a point. The stage is cleared and everything's ready, so you can start your performance at any time. Yeah, thanks to you. I'm really grateful. All right, time to hit the stage. You're welcome. The honor's all mine, since I'll have such a great view of the show. seen a performance like this this is incredible yeah but I heard that public performances like these have been banned I can't believe she's doing this here Grand Sage there's some commotion outside <laughs> how uninteresting issue the new prohibition act from the Akasha to the guards they'll know what to do Do you think we should, like, stop her? Let's just watch for a little bit longer.
Did you hear that? It sounds like a lot of guards just ran by. Does this mean the plan has moved on to the next stage? Yep, yep. It's great that everything seems to be going well. Come to think of it, when did Al Haytham replace the knowledge capsule that was about to be entered into the Akasha? Oh, so that's when he did it! Paimon was too nervous to notice. Speaking of, didn't Al Haytham also yoink the divine knowledge capsule from that mercenary leader in Port Ormos when everyone else was distracted? Oh, it's a time-tested trick of his! <sighs> Why are we complimenting him? Yeah, he's smart and all, but he still makes Paimon's blood boil! <sighs> Let's review our plan for this stage again. It's not like we have anything else to do right now anyway, and it'll help us feel more confident. Paimon remembers that Nilo's task was supposed to go a bit like this. Now that Lesser Lord Kusanali's consciousness has been forcefully sealed, the core figures of the Academia and their guards have started to wear their Akasha terminals again. With the Doctor's technological support, they think they have nothing to fear. How despicable of them to rely on such a person. But this is also our chance. I was originally asked to draft the knowledge capsule for the Artistic Performances Prohibition Act when I was still at the Academia. It should be on the Grand Sage's desk right now, and will be entered into the Akasha during the next Nyagarbaha day. Are they really going to stop all artistic performances? That's horrible! I'll make an identical knowledge capsule, but this time, I'll smuggle some misleading information into it. We only need to find an opportunity to switch the capsules. Once it's been entered into the Akasha on Nyagarbaha day, if someone were to be seen performing in public, the sages would definitely use that opportunity to announce the ban. And so, the misleading information will be disseminated amongst the guards. Sure sounds complicated, but it seems like if everything goes well, we'll be able to get rid of all the guards in the academia without any effort. That's pretty clever, getting right into their heads. I just have one question. Even if we manage to get the misleading info out to the guards, how can we be sure that they'll believe it? People who are used to relying on the Akasha become less inquisitive, and their ability to distinguish truth from misinformation is significantly reduced. They will view everything the Akasha releases to them as the unequivocal truth. The Akasha will turn humans into machines. I've seen it happen many times. Yikes. Good thing I didn't wear it for long when I was working in Sumeru City. At first, I thought it was a good thing, too. By the way, this plan still requires a performer, right? Do you have someone in mind? Nilu of Zubair Theater. I know her really well. We can trust her. I'm kind of hesitant to ask her to participate in a dangerous plan like this, but we can ask her in person. All right. After the guards in the Academia are gone... Then it'll be time for me and my stowaway brothers to shine. Here they come. Did you see that, Raman? They came out from the Academia in droves. After laying low in the city for so long, this is the moment we've been waiting for. My brothers have already sprung into action. <laughs> we couldn't do anything to them inside their coop, but outside the Academia, this is our hunting ground. With a lioness like you, the prey sure won't be able to run far. <laughs> we still need to eliminate the guards as soon as possible. If we give the sages enough time to realize what's happening, the plan's doomed. Yeah, all they've done is to sit on their cushy salaries and twiddle their thumbs all day while we fought and struggled every day in the desert. The only advantage they might have is their numbers. Speaking of which, most of the guards who report directly to the Six Sages belong to the Corps of Thirty, but they have a completely different reputation. Following those blasted Sages every whim, throwing away all the principles of being a mercenary, as someone in the same profession, I'm obligated to teach him a good lesson today. Indeed, the trap 
has been set. All we need to do is lead them there. All right, let's each take a road and herd those scattered guards back into one place. Make sure to attract their attention. Isak will be the key. You gave such an important task to that child. Will he be okay? It'll be fine. Isak was so determined to help, so let's put our faith in him. Besides, even if he's caught, the guards would be too scared to do anything to him. They've never seen Lesser Lord Kusanali in person, after all. You've got a point. Anyway, I think I see them coming. Let's head out. Good luck. Outfit. Uh. Hey, do you remember what you need to do, Isak? When the guards get here, you'll pretend to be Lesser Lord Kusanali and run away from them. Oh, yeah, I remember. Of course I do. I'm just uh, a little nervous. <laughs> Relax. Don't think about getting caught. Even if that happens, we won't leave you behind. You only need to think about getting the guards' attention and leading them to the Grand Bazaar. Leave the rest to us. Okay, got it. I'm here to pay back Lesser Lord Kusanali for helping Grandpa. I won't get cold feet. Hey, they're here. I can see the Academia Guard. All right, it's time, Isak. Take a deep breath and go. You can do this. Why is there a guard over there? Did he already run ahead of me? Mm, this is different from our plan, but there's no time. I need to make a choice. Hmm. Let's have a look behind the house. What should I do next? Huh. Looks like nothing's here. A wasted time. <sighs> Luckily, he didn't check behind the tree. What should I do next? Hmm. The guard looks alert. What should I do next? Doesn't seem like anything unusual is around here. Looks like the guard finally left. I need to go. Hey! Lesser Lord Kusanali is over there! Stop! What? Lesser Lord Kusanali? How did I not notice that? Uh, they found me! This is bad. Where should I go? The target suspected to be Lesser Lord Kusanali has escaped into the Grand Bazaar! Assemble and arrest her! Where did she go? How did she disappear? Did we lose her? Hurry up and find her! Hey, why is your team here? Didn't we say to split up our search? Hurry, hurry! <sighs> this place is... Why are you all here? Yeah, isn't it one heck of a coincidence? Everybody's here. What on earth is going on? I suppose that's all of you? Who are you? Did you set us up? What are you planning? <sighs> Phew, that was rough. I almost got caught. Little brat! So you're not actually Lesser Lord Kusanali. Who exactly are you all? Eremites from the desert? Just some colleagues. Think of this as a business competition. Or a personal grudge. After stepping into our traps, stop thinking of yourselves as hunters. Behave like the prey you are.
An ambush? How's that possible? This is Sumeru City, but mercenaries from the desert somehow ambushed us! You've spent all your time hiding away in the Academia. This place has long since become our hunting ground. Brace yourselves! Hmm... This is odd. The Academia has quieted down after the conclusion of the Neagarba Day ceremonies. But it's much quieter than usual. Where are the guards? Why have I not seen a single one? Guards? Guards! <coughs> Grand Sage, how may I be of assistance? I called for the guards. Why did you come? Uh, my, my apologies, Grand Sage. Right now, all Academia guards have entered the city to perform the ordered arrest. I thought you knew. Arrest? Who is there to arrest? I have an ominous feeling. A arrest Lesser Lord Kusanali, right? Is that not what the order was? Lesser Lord Kusanali? You mean she has disappeared? Uh, yes. I wouldn't dare make up something like that. Right now, everyone is in a panic, and many are saying that... that Lesser Lord Kusanali will take revenge on us. What happened? Just what is going on? Lesser Lord Kusanali somehow escaped? Was it Alhatham and his party that freed her? That's impossible. The Academia is heavily guarded today, and any order to release Lesser Lord Kusanali would be strictly confidential. Besides, Alhatham and the Traveler are already in our hands. What manner of trickery did they employ? How could Lesser Lord Kusanali disappear into thin air? Disappear? Wait. How was the arrest order distributed to the guards? It was issued by the Akasha earlier today. Only you have the authority to send messages like that, so I thought it was your order. Let me check. Ah, here. Lesser Lord Kusanali has escaped from the Sanctuary of Surasthana. Go to the city and arrest the escapee immediately. The Akasha indeed contains this information, and it clearly appeared in my mind. How did they bypass my permissions to issue this kind of message? Was it the report about the Traveler that Alhatham submitted? No. I specifically checked that knowledge capsule before entering it into the Akasha. Could that have been a red herring? Well. Even if I figure it out now, it won't make any difference. The important thing now is to confirm Lesser Lord Kusanali's status. Have you been to the Sanctuary of Surasthana to confirm that Lesser Lord Kusanali has indeed escaped? Confirm? N no I, I haven't. It, it may be a bit offensive to say this, but... Grand Sage, what you're saying doesn't make any sense. How can the information in the Akasha be inaccurate? What the Akasha decrees is fact. That is common knowledge to all of us. If we have to confirm the information and knowledge from the Akasha ourselves, then how is that any different from us learning that information ourselves? Wouldn't Greater Lord Rukadavata's legacy lose its meaning that way? In the beginning, it was I who asked you to believe in the Akasha, to believe in the legacy left by Greater Lord Rukadavata. Are you trying to use my words against me? N no Grand Sage. I'm merely confused because I believe in you. I never meant to refute you. <laughs> Stay here and see if there are any suspicious people around. I'll go to the Sanctuary of Surasthana on my own. Y yes Grand Sage. Lesser Lord Kusanali has escaped from the Sanctuary of Surasthana. Go to the city and arrest the escapee immediately. <sighs> How can that be? Stop thinking about it. Stop. It must be a trick of theirs. As long as I personally confirm it. Ah! Impossible. That's impossible. There must be something wrong with my eyes. Oh. 
What a comical sight is our. <gasps> Once the Akasha has put certain thoughts into your head, even the Grand Sage can no longer see what's right in front of him. You all can only see the world in your mind, the one you think you know. And precisely because of this, you disregarded Lesser Lord Kusanali's existence. She has been a wise and worthy Archon. Sino, have you been waiting for a chance like this? The Akasha predicted that you would return to the Academia to confront me, but I didn't expect it to turn out like this. I was careless. No, you were blinded. Your faults stem from your reliance on the Akasha. You're still the same as always. I truly did not expect a proud person like you to cooperate with all Haytham and the Traveler. People change, Azar. Admit it. The Akasha can't predict my actions anymore. <laughs> then tell me, what have you found during your investigation? You want to buy time? This is the Sanctuary of Suristhana. Under your own regulations, even Academia staff are forbidden to come here. No one will come to save you. As for the investigation, I've at least confirmed that you are guilty of insurgency against the Archon. A serious crime. So what? Did you do all of this so I would plead guilty in front of you, General Mahamatra? No. I want you to plead guilty in front of the Archon herself. You once said that I had no standing to judge you. So now, how about judgment in the name of a god? <laughs>